Hey guys, it's Neil here from Post to Post. Thanks for joining me today. I actually had a, a ranking video planned for today, but then this showed up in the mail. Buddy even put Post to Post on it. Shout out to you. There's a jersey in here that is very strange because it's 100% almost certainly not going to fit me. It's size 42. Well, why would I buy a size 42 when I take size 46 worst case scenario and ideally size 50 and other side worst case scenario size 52. So size 50 is for me. I fit in size 46. I also sit in, fit in size 52. I ain't fitting in size 42. That's for damn sure. I'm a thick boy. So why am I buying this? Uh, it's kind of for you guys. It's for a comparison video for sizes. So I did do a previous version of a video like that where I compared size 46, 50, 52, and 56, I believe. At the time, I did not have size 54 or size 60, and I did not have size 42 or size 44. Now, if you're familiar with Reebok years, they do theirs in extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, yada, yada, yada. And Adidas does it in numbers. So 46 is size small, 50 is size medium, 52 is size large, and so on and so forth. So I figured that, uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll buy a size 42. And number one, it was relatively cheap. It was a good deal. I think it was like $50, including shipping. And um, it's, a, it's a jersey that I don't have. It's a Adidas jersey I don't have from, you know, if, it's not in my collection in, in, a, in a different size. So uh, worst case Ontario, I could just hang it in the background instead of wearing it for 50 bucks and get a comparison video out of it at the same time. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I will do a comparison at the end of the video once it's unboxed. I'm gonna go get a size 46 out of, uh, out of my, um, wardrobe, I guess. I don't know. Jersey collection area, whatever. And uh, we can kind of do a quick comparison, but then I'll do an actual proper lengthy and more in-depth comparison in the future. I would like to get a size 44 and a size 54 for that uh, video, um, but uh, it has to be the right price, right? I mean, I'm not going to go spend $200 on a size 44 jersey that I know it's not going to fit me. And at the very most, I can just hang in my background. So it's, I got to find the right deal. So if you have a size 44 and you want to get rid of it, Please contact me. I will buy it if the price is right. Same with size 54. All right, I've got the top down camera going. So we can get this full unboxing properly or unbagging rather. Let's get this open. I can't, I can't rip the post to post sticker. If you wanna leave your guesses down below in the comment section if you know my jersey collection well and you follow along, I appreciate that, thank you. All right, let's open it up and let's see. Actually, I'm gonna peek inside first. Okay, yeah. All right, let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, that's right. The Buffalo Sabres, previous generation home jersey. Now I suspect, wow, this is, still has the tags on it. Excellent. Still has the original first run sticker on it. It's got the button. I am terrified to see how small this logo is going to be. Oh my god, this jersey is so small. Uh, this is this is ridiculous. Uh, wow, this jersey is incredibly small. Uh, I, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and try this on. Does that make sense? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to try this on. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, this is gonna be embarrassing. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so technically I did get it on. It's actually not that bad. Uh, it's definitely tight. I would not wear this anywhere outside, uh, but I could technically, I guess, wear it in a video. It's, it's tight. Like you could see, you could see my boobs probably. And this logo's, it's pretty tight in the old chest. I'm uh, just under 5'10", basically 5'10". I weigh roughly 180 pounds. So if you want to, you know, think about how big you are in, in comparison, um, might give you a small idea on how well you could fit in this. Size 42, I would never wear this realistically, <laughs> but I'm glad I bought it. So I'm gonna take it off again and lay it down. And we'll do a quick comparison. All right, so I've laid it down here in front of me uh, on top of a size 46 original run jersey. I've got an Ottawa Senators home jersey with Air Carlson on the back, but this was from the first production run of Adidas, same as the size 42. So 46 versus size 42, let's take a look. So obviously you can't see the entire jersey in the frame, but you can get an idea of at least the uh, middle width here. Obviously the size 46 is, is bigger and it's actually drastically bigger than I thought. And you're gonna see that once I pull this up a little bit. There you can really see the amount of 
extra material material at the bottom of the size 46. It comes down quite a bit, um, and it's that length in combination with the width means this is very tight on thick boys like me. So just you know, keep that into consideration. Now I'm going to move this over as well, so you can see. Oops, so you can see the sleeve length. There's roughly, uh, I guess I could measure it. Now obviously this isn't completely scientific, by the way. I've just had this loosely uh, laid on top here, but it's, you know, it's 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 less than two and a half inches in distance. And just for fun, I mean, it's it's very amateurly laid out here, but this one is roughly two. So, I mean, obviously it's not perfect from side to side, but you could say that there's generally two inches on, uh, on the length of the sleeve and probably an inch on each side of the width and probably two inches on the bottom of, of length as well. So, you know, it really doesn't seem like a lot. It's only a couple of inches on, on each section, but it does make a pretty drastic difference. And I'll post some photos as well on the screen so you can see them a little bit closer than this top-down camera. But uh, yeah, just just kind of an interesting, uh, an interesting purchase for me because like I said, it's not a jersey that I'm going to wear. It's always going to be a jersey that I have in the background usually. Or just to say that it's, I have it in my collection. Um, you know, worst case scenario, I could give it away in the future for a giveaway or a prize or just uh, just keep it forever. I don't really know. But the other cool thing is it's a previous generation of a team's jersey, kind of like the one behind it, the Ottawa Senators. The Ottawa Senators no longer use this jersey. They've moved to something else. So... As the Adidas years progress and we get new generations of new jerseys, it's going to be kind of cool to hold on to this one. And that's why I haven't gotten rid of it yet. And the same thing with this one. I wanted to, uh, to, to get this one to kind of remember where Adidas started with a couple of teams. Now, I don't have the current uh, Buffalo Sabres home and away. Or maybe I do and you just haven't seen it yet. So keep an eye out on the channel for future unboxing videos. Would love it if you could join me here. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you. Thanks for thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Adios.